usually the physical quantities can be categorized into two categories the first being scalars the second being vectors now what are scalars what are vectors this is not a new term to you you have studied these in your physics as well so for those students who might not have opted for physics that means they might be of commerce with mathematics especially they have to pay more attention now what are vectors like as i said physical quantities when i say they can be either divided into scalar or vector quantities now specifically speaking scalar quantities are the one in which only and only magnitude is considered scalar quantities are the one in which only magnitude is considered there is no question of considering their direction in space while vector quantities are what they are the ones in which you consider both magnitude and their direction in space so specifically speaking when i say about scalar quantities and only magnitude means only numbers come into my mind so they might be of the examples like volume like area if i say i have a cube of side 5 cm what is its vol volume 125 cm cube i don't say that towards the north or towards the east or something so there is no direction involved so scalar examples can be volume area or it can be even temperature because temperature is say 98.6 degree fahrenheit or 37 degree celsius there is no direction involved so those are the examples of scalar quantity what about vectors vectors are such which have the direction also associated along with the magnitude if i say there is a point a and there is a point b now from point a to b i have to either go like this way that means towards the right hand side or i can choose this path these are the two paths so definitely direction is being involved right because i am going towards the right hand side or i am going towards a zigzag path and the magnitude is also there say 2 km or 3 km so in that manner if i say that there are two terms one is distance the other is displacement so what is a scalar and what is a vector out of these distance my dear friends is your scalar quantity because there is no question of direction involved so if i say 2 kilometers from a to b it does not mean from a to b that you have to follow this way this way this way so it is not like that so it is only distance and it is a scalar but for displacement which says the shortest distance i tell you one example suppose i have these points a b c now from a to b i say it is 3 km from a to c it is 4 km now by pythagoras theorem this should be 5 km right so now if only the distance is only this 4 5 3 km is involved i'll say it is the question about distance but if i say that from b to c if i have to walk walk from b to c what do i see i can either go directly from b c that is this way so this is 5 km or i can first go from b to a then i can go from a to c so b to a is 3 3 plus 4 is 7 then i see that displacement is the shortest distance you have started in your class 9 so now you come to know direction matters in case of displacement hence displacement is a vector quantity more vectors are like velocity acceleration and so on one more particular thing to remember in case of vectors is that all the physical quantities which support the definition of magnitude plus direction in space they might not be vectors there are some uh, exceptions to it like it also has one more thing into picture in addition to this particular definition that the vector quantities should follow the triangle as well as the parallelogram law of addition there is a parallelogram law of addition which you must have studied in your physics and in your class plus 2 also we are going to take up that not in much detail but yes we are going to take up that 
So one thing is very sure that only those quantities will be termed as vector which have magnitude, which have direction in space and which also follow the basic laws of parallelogram law of addition. So now you have a brief understanding of what are scalars and what are vectors.